What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we are talking about the RPGs in June. Now, um, I'll mention this again later, but remember there are a ton of showcases coming out here in the next week or so. And so uh, this is going to be not an updated list. Uh, we will talk about those later, but I doubt very much that much of what they will announce here at those showcases will be in June. I expect them all to be later. So there's not a lot this month. And, but there's probably one that everyone's picking up anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And you kind of start off with a two for one. So first up is Monster Hunter Stories, which is getting like a remaster and port, I guess, whatever, to PC, PS4, and Switch. So it's kind of an updated version, but more importantly is it's going to other platforms. Uh, it's a massive glow up and probably more importantly, is the availability on the other platforms. The stories games are like the RPG version of Monster Hunter. That's right, the actual Monster Hunter is not an RPG. I hate it when people call it that, it's not. But this is the RPG version. This is the where almost like Pokemon-esque where you get monsters, you get eggs, you hatch new monsters, they become like your friends, and then you have this whole story that you play out with them. Uh, it's not anything incredible in the story, but it's decent and the characters are fun and it's really it's really quite enjoyable getting the different monsters especially if you like monster hunter and you have a history with these monsters then there's you know more to it gameplay can be super addicting it's if it hooks you uh really good stuff again i said it's two for one because monster hunter stories 2 is also getting ported to other platforms. So it was on the Switch, it might have been on PC as well, but now it's getting ported to the PlayStation. So PS4, PS5, and yeah, that's a good thing, right? These games need more people to be able to play them and to get off of just the Switch because that hardware just is so old now, it, it's not up to date. And so being able to play this on a PlayStation where you can get the 60 frames and everything will move really well, really good stuff. So that comes out to, uh, PS4 and and PC and Switch, at least the first one does. The second one comes out to PS4 all on June 14th. Next up is Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, right? Now this is Atlas doing what Atlas does, right? They released a game, then you think they do DLC, but instead of DLC, they do a whole new version where they completely redo stuff and have a whole second story. Like halfway through the game, there's a whole second storyline that opens up that wasn't there before. Yeah, so this is Atlas, right? Re-release a game at full price with a crazy amount of extra content. Uh, Vengeance adds that separate story route, uh, new demons, new characters improvements on the battle system and more reason to explore. So I'm assuming that means, you know, more like treasures you can find and, you know, I don't know, power-ups or whatever. So Shin Megami Tensei is where Persona came from. So if you like Persona haven't tried these games, they're definitely worth a shot. These are used to be dungeon crawler almost exclusively. And now there's more story and stuff to them. I think they're good if what you love about Persona is all the social stuff then this might not hit for you, right? But the battle is really good. The story, overall story is good. I wanted the story to move faster, but it's still really enjoyable. And I think this one has a, a good idea with that second story. So uh, definitely one to check out if you haven't already. This comes out on June 14th to everything. And then the final game, or I guess rather DLC, that will probably what be what everybody is getting is of course, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Elden Ring is, of course, the massive open world hardcore action RPG by From Software of Dark Souls fame. This developer is like king right now. They're what everybody aspires to. Their games come out amazing. Elden Ring is like their crown jewel. This huge open world is getting even bigger. This new area, new bosses, new weapons, new incantations, new spells, new armor all the good stuff. My understanding is that this new area is roughly the size of Limgrave, which is that whole massive beginning area. Now, they didn't say whether inc that includes the underground that's in Limgrave, but I bet there's some surprises like that in there. Uh, Elden Ring really surprised me when it came out, and I've said this before, but 
I wasn't a FromSoft guy, I wasn't into that style of game, and then I don't even remember what pushed me to try them, but Elden Ring really got its hooks in me, and I am a massive fan. I loved Elden Ring. I put like 200 hours in it. So if you played Elden Ring, this is probably all that's on your mind and probably already playing the, the original just to get yourself prepped up for the DLC. Shadow of the Earth Tree comes out to everything except the Switch June 21st. And it is unfortunately not going to get picked up right away by me because I just don't have the time or, or anything to give to it yet. But rest assured, one of these days I will get it and we'll jump back into that rabbit hole. One day I'll get to it. <laughs> and the truth is, that's really all right now for the month of June. There's a few little indies, but honestly, they, they come from developers that don't have a great track record, and so I didn't want to put that in front of you and little stuff that I just don't know anything about. But from what I've seen, this is like kind of the staple, the main stuff coming out this month. But again, as I said in the beginning, there are showcases coming that should announce kind of the rest of this year and into next year. We've already had a few. Um, they're not really RPGs, but the PlayStation Showcase and Marvelous Showcase were both recent. And I have videos, so you can click below. I'll have those linked below uh, if you want to check those out. And there's definitely some stuff coming. But for right now, this is what we got for June. And again, we will talk over the showcases coming up next week for a lot of them. And uh, we'll go over those when they come out and we'll talk about what's coming up the rest of the year. So look forward to that. Towards the end of June, we will be talking about the what, what to anticipate for the rest of the year. Well, I just don't wanna do that until we get kind of this slew of showcases under our belt. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button as that helps me out a ton. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, the smack that, okay? We, we're closing in very slowly to a thousand, but we're gonna get there. I believe in you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome and I thank you for that. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Good hunting.